Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a part spin automatically. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you'll end up at the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you now want to go and insert your part. Now this part can be any size or shape. Now keep in mind that this tutorial is just going to be working on one singular part. If you would like me to do multiple parts or a whole model moving, let me know down in the comments and I'll make that for you. But for this tutorial, we're just making it on this one singular part. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to go and make it like this. And I'm just going to go and make sure to anchor it so the part can't be pushed around. I'm just going to go and change the color then. And then what we want to do, we want to click on the plus button next to our part. And then we want to insert a script. So now that you've inserted the code inside of your script, you can go and adjust a couple things. So where it says local turning speed equals 10. I've got it set to 10 on default simply because 10 is an ideal speed to kind of keep it moving and you can really change this to whatever. If you want it at 5, you can change it to 5. If you want it at 1, you can have it at 1. But for this tutorial, I'll be having it as 10. Now you can also go and change this wait time. It's completely up to you. Personally, I don't recommend changing this wait time because this gives it a nice smooth transition because basically what this does, it updates the part to turn every 0.01 seconds, basically meaning it is moving in a nice smooth motion, but I'll show you in the studio, but you can go and change any of these here right here. The most important one is probably this turning speed right here because that will determine on how quickly the part turns. So once you've finished adjusting everything, head up here, click on the X button next to script and go test it out by clicking on play. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and next to me is our part, which is spinning. Now, if we had to get in the way of this part, nothing much would happen. It will just go above us. Now you could use this as kind of like a spinning kill part, which would basically, if we touch this part, then the player will die. But for this tutorial, we're just keeping it extremely basic. But as you guys can see, we have now got a fully turning spinning part. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here if you did enjoy. I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.